Brutus started one of the biggest slave revolts of Roman time. Imagine going into battle with your best friend, who either had to kill you or you killed them. That was part of Spartacus's daily life. Spartacus had a huge army of over 70,000 slaves. He and his army defeated over 9,000 Romans and took over small villages. Spartacus and his army camped out at the top of Mount Vesuvius, an active volcano, which soon after had covered the Roman city of Pompeii with ash. Rome's army was ruthless. When Spartacus and his army traveled to Mount Vesuvius, the huge volcano that towered over Rome, Rome sent out an army of over 3,000 men. A battle started. It was 70 gladiators against 3,000 Romans. It was an unfair match, but don't underestimate the power of 70 gladiators. Spartacus and his army came through and won. After Spartacus had won, other slaves escaped, believing they could win their freedom against Rome. Rome had come back to attack with 6,000 men. Spartacus, with his even bigger army, defeated the Romans again. Spartacus now had over 70,000 slaves traveling with him. After winning two battles against Rome, Spartacus had 70,000 slaves traveling with him who believed they could win their freedom. After Spartacus conquered all of the small villages off the southern tip of Italy, he sets up camp in the old village of Metapontum. Spartacus wanted to turn every man into a gladiator. Three to four months to turn a decent man into a gladiator was an acceptable amount of time. During winter, Spartacus wanted his men to trade for brass and metal instead of silver and gold. Each man needed a weapon. Silver and gold would not work well to make weapons. Spartacus was low on weapons from his previous battles at Mount Vesuvius and from his army multiplying by a thousand. Spartacus definitely had a shortage of weapons. When Spartacus and his army first escaped, Spartacus had defeated the army of 3,000. But the Roman Empire did not give up. They sent out an army twice the size of before. Spartacus had a bigger army than before, but not by much. And most of the men that escaped were slaves, not gladiators, who were specifically trained to fight. Spartacus didn't believe they would lose. In battle, smarts meant more than strength. Rome was camped out on the steepest part of Mount Vesuvius. Spartacus ordered his army to climb down the mountain on vines and attack from the back. Spartacus's plan had worked. The Roman army ran away but came back with massive retaliation. Yet again, Spartacus had won. In conclusion, Spartacus was a great man who for a period of time overruled slavery. Spartacus influenced slaves everywhere. With what he did, he should be known as one of the greatest leaders of Rome.